Hey guys, I want to show you how to extract chains from Ableton's Drum Racks instrument. This is going to really help with your drum programming and your ability to really tweak things a lot further than just a normal MIDI track would allow for it. So the first thing I've got here is just a simple pattern here. So I'll go ahead and play that now. The technique here is to go ahead and open this up and you could do one of two things to extract the chain. You could either right click on the instrument, the sample rather, or you could highlight the instruments that you want. For example, I want to separate these two and put them in their own group. And I just drag it outside of the chain. And then it makes its own track here. So now I've got the, the hi-hat instrument separate. And if you look here, all you see are the hi-hats. And if you look over here, the hi-hats are no longer in this, so they're separated. And that'll go ahead and also separate the snare. That part's done. Now we are able to tweak each of these separately, run each one through separate effects and things like that, which is not really that big of a deal considering that you've always been able to go to each separate part and add your own effect into that. In other words, if I wanted to drag something into the hi-hat, I can simply do that and it stays different than that. So that's not really what you're gaining by extracting the chain. But I'll show you once you convert this to audio, and I'm going to freeze these tracks, and I'm going to go ahead and flatten them as well. Then I'll copy these and paste them into the arrange window. Okay, now I can do all kinds of interesting editing with audio that I'd never be able to do with MIDI. With MIDI, for the most part, you can't, for example, edit out the middle of a sample like that. You can't chop it up in that type of way. There's some volume things that you can do, but it's much faster and much easier to do things with audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around here just to give you an idea of how quickly you can do some interesting drum programming. I'll just do a few edits here. Most of this is just duplication, cut, copy, paste. You know, just some basic stuff. So. And right now there's really no method to this for this example. I'm just playing around. Copy and paste that there. Let's just make this a two bar loop here. Then I can go in and um, I can adjust volumes and different things like that on each separate one. So here I can I could consolidate this if I want. Like so, double click here. I could actually go and transpose some of the parts as well. there and on the snare I'll go ahead and pull in a uh, a reverb we'll turn it up nice and loud and I'll just pop these in some different places here And let's go ahead and pull in a uh, filter. And we'll turn the filter on right here. And make a little filter sweep here.
And let's see what we got. So as you can see, you could kind of go on and take one simple loop and turn it into some really interesting stuff that you could tweak and change all the way throughout your song. So that is what extracting chains gives you the capability of doing. I hope that you are able to put this to use and enjoy it.